Hi everyone, welcome to today's video tutorial and today we have a very nice math challenge, nice algebra, okay, it's a math only paired challenge. I'll be solving this challenge with the person of Dr. PK, um, Dr. PK uh, will be solving this challenge, uh, can't really tell the approach she's going to use, but I'm going to use the algebraic uh, method to solve for the value of our a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. And so, um, do well to visit Dr. P.K. Shannon to see his own approach. Definitely is going to use a different approach. So you are going to learn a different approach from his own side than another approach from my own side. So we're going to have two approaches, all right? So do well to visit his channel. And when you visit his channel, do well to subscribe. And when you subscribe, turn on the notification bell, even as I expect you to do so if you've not done so as far this channel is concerned. This is Online Mass TV, and my name is Jake Animal. So let's see how we solve this challenge. Now, if you look at the question, the question reads, a plus b is equal to 1, then a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 equal to 2, then a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 will be equal to 1. Now, if you think you want to play some smart game, you can think that the power of a here is 1, power of a is 1, and so here is 1. The power of a here is 2, power of b here is 2, so here we have 2. And so the power of a to the power, sorry, a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11, would that be 11? No. So, but let's see what that gives us here. All right, so let's take our solution swiftly. So let's take solution to this challenge and see what this gives us. So what I'm going to do here, first I'm going to square this expression, the first expression. So if I square this, so we have here a plus b r to the power of two, if we open up this, this will give us here your a to the power of 2, then plus your 2ab, then plus b squared. And again, because I square this side of the equation, I must equally square this. So this will now be equal to 1 r squared. And we know 1 squared will give us 1, right? Okay, so if we have this to be this, so we can... Pick this and equate it to this. And so let's bring this and this together. So this now implies that our a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2, okay, then plus our 2ab is equal to 1. Okay, now let's look at this carefully. From equation 2, we are having a to the power of 2 plus b to the power of 2 equal to 2. So we have the whole of this side now. So let's substitute here. If we substitute, we're going to have here 2 plus 2ab equal to 1. So send this to this side. And when you subtract, it's going to give us minus 1. So we have here 2ab is equal to minus 1. I hope we are not confused here because if you move this, it turns to minus 1. 1 minus 2 will give us minus 1. Now let's look for AB. So we divide through by 2, divide this side by 2 also. So this, this leaves. So we are now left with AB is equal to minus 1 all over 2. So we've be able to establish a fact. Now this expression here is going to be very useful in solving this challenge. Again, what I'm going to do, now look at this same equation. I want to cube this equation again. So let's go ahead and cube this equation. So if we cube this equation, we're going to have here a plus your b r to the power of 3. Now, if we cube this and we express this out, we're going to come up with our a to the power of 3, then plus our 3a b bracket a plus b close bracket, then plus our b to the power of 3. And everything, we must also take the cube of this. And the cube of this will give us what? 1. Okay? Because it's going to give us 1 to the power of 3, which is the same thing as 1. All right. Now, from this, what we do, so let's go and express this out. Pick this and this together and see what happens here. Because we have an expression for this already. We have an expression for this. So before we do that, let's just quickly bring out the expression for this. We have minus 1 all over 2. So we have here minus 1 all over 2. And here we have a plus b. a plus b is equal to 1. So we have 1 here. All right? So if we go ahead to substitute, then we are left with this, this. So let's continue on this side and see what this gives us. 
All right. So, like I said before, so on this side, we are going to have something like a to the power of three plus b to the power of three. Okay. Then, yeah, we're going to give us here plus our three into minus one all over two. Minus one all over two. Close bracket. The bracket, our one, close bracket, equal to everything equal to one. So, we can multiply out here. So, this will give us here. A to the power of 3 plus B to the power of 3 minus 3 all over 2, then equal to 1. Easy. Okay, so let's move this to this side of the equation. So this we are left with A to the power of 3 plus B to the power of 3. This is equal to your 1 plus 3 all over 2. So if we simplify this, what would this give us? This will give us um 5 all over 2 so we have therefore a to the power of 3 plus b to the power of 3 equal to 5 all over 2 so we've gotten another identity okay so from this let's give this guy um so we take this equation what equation so let's take this equation star all right so if we have this as our equation star, and then um, from here, what we do next? Let's look at something here, something special here. Because we'll, we'll try to get a to the power of 11, so we need an evil power, an odd power, okay? So let's square everything here again. So we have here a to the power of three plus b to the power of three, r to the power of two, this is equal to, we must equally square this side, 2r to the power of 2. Okay. So if we open up this, this will give us a to the power of 6 plus our a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3, then plus a to the power of 3, b to the power of 3, plus b to the power of 6. Everything equal to 25 all over four good again we can marry this and this together and factor out um, um factor out so this will give us two a to the power of three b to the power of three right yeah that's what we're going to come out with here so from here we have this to be a to the power of um six okay all right all right all right you are there plugs uh, b to the power of 6, then plus 2abr to the power of 3 equal to 25 all over 4. Again, we've established this guy here already to be minus 1 all over 2 from here. Okay, so let's go ahead and substitute. So we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6, then plus 2 into 1 all over 2 minus here yeah, please all to the power of 3 so this is equals to 25 all over 4 so this will give us a minus 1 all over 8 so we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 minus uh, 2 times your 1 all over 8 right this equal to 25 all over 4. Again, then 2 year 1, 2 year will give us 4. So we send 1 all over 4 to this other side. So let's continue on this side again. So from here, we're going to have our a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 equal to the 25 all over 4. Then um, it's going to give us plus year 1 all over 4. Right? Good. So we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 is equal to uh, 26 all over uh, 4, which will give us 13 all over 2. So therefore, we have a to the power of 6 plus b to the power of 6 equals to 13 all over 2. Okay, so let's see this. Now, let's we can give this equation um, star, star, star. So let's give this equation star, star, star. Okay, so with this, we have our even number again. Then what do we do to get a to the power of 11, b to the power of 11? Now, let's look at equation 2, okay? 
Can we multiply equation two by equation stars? Yeah, yeah, we can do that. So if we multiply these two, this is going to give us a to the power of five. And so when we multiply a to the power of five by a to the power of six, that will give us a to the power of 11. So from here, when I say multiply, multiply equation two by equation star. So our equation two is this. So we have here our equation a to the power of two plus b to the power of two, our bracket bracket a to the power of three, the plus b to the power of three. This will be equal to our a to the power of two is equal to two. So we're going to have here two times the five all over two. Easy. Okay, so if we go again, this time this will give us a to the power of five. Okay, then plus this, this will give us a to the power of two, b to the power of three. There plus this, this will give us a to the power of three, b to the power of two. Plus this, this will give us b to the power of five. Everything equal to this, this list, so we have this to be five. Again, we can marry this and this now. So we now have a to the power of five plus b to the power of five. The a to the power of two is common here, b to the power of two is common. So let's go ahead and factor that out. So we have a to the power of two, b to the power of two. If we do that, here we are left with b, then here we are left with a, then everything equal to five. Again, we can rewrite this as a, times b to the power of 2. And we know that a, b is given to be this already. So rewriting this, we're going to have a to the power of 5 plus b to the power of 5 plus your 1 all over 2 minus the r to the power of 2. Then here we can rearrange this a plus b. is the same thing as b plus a. So and our a plus b is given to be what? 1. So here will be times 1 everything equal to five. Okay, so this will give us here a to the power of five plus b to the power of five, okay? Then minus one all over, sorry, plus. They give us plus one all over four, all right, equal to five. So move this to this other side. So let's continue on this side of the board and see what this gives us. We're almost there. So, all right, so from there, we're going to have this to be our a to the power of five plus b to the power of five equal to your five minus one all over four. So if we carry out the uh, simplification here, this will give us a 20, so minus this, we have a 19. So we have 19 all over four. So therefore, we can say five, a to the power of five, there plus b to the power of five equals to 19. Okay, 19 all over your four. So we've established another fact, yeah. Okay, so we can give this equation star, star, star. So now let's look at this now. We can multiply equation star, star, star by equation star, star, yeah. So from here, if we multiply, we can say multiply, multiply equation your star, star by equation star, star, star. So here we're going to give us here your a to the power of six uh, plus b to the power of six, bracket, bracket, a to the power of five plus b to the power of five, okay? Then our a to the power of six will give us here 13 all over two, so we have here 13 all over two, there into, there here we have 19 all over four. So, okay, so let's go. This times this will give us a, a to the power of 11, then plus this times this will give us your a to the power of six, b to the power of five. Now we come to this, this will give us plus a to the power of five, b to the power of six, then this will give us plus b to the power of 11, everything equal to, if we use this to find this, this will give us um, 8, right? So we have um, 247 all over 8. So we have 247 all over 8. 
So let's marry this and this together to give us here a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. Then here we can separate out something here. A to the power of 5, b to the power of 5. Okay, so have here plus our a, um, a to the power of 5 times b to the power of 5. Then bracket. If we do that, here we are left with uh, a then plus here we are left with uh, b okay then everything equal to we have two four uh, seven all over eight okay so let's parallelize by uh, cleaning this part of the border can we still make use of this all right so but before then we can write this as a times b to the power of five so we have the whole of this to be remember our a b is minus one all over two and our a plus b is equal to one okay so here yeah, one so we write this on this side this gives us all right so substituting here this will give us here all this now implies that our a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 we give us here now minus one all over two to the power of five that will give us um minus one all over 32. So we're going to have this to be minus 1 all over 32. Okay? The times 1 will still give us this equal to your um, 2, 4, 7 all over 8. All right. So from here, we send this to this other side of the equation. So we have a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 equal to 2, 4, 7 all over 8. The plus 1 all over 32. The LCM of 8 and 32 is 32. All right. So this will now give us here 32. 32 into uh, 8 into this will give us a 4. 4 times this will give us um, 9, 8, 8. Right. So we have here 9, 8, 8. The plugs. This into this one. One time this will give us one here. Yeah. All right. So uh, if we add up this, so we can have this. Therefore, our a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11 is equal to 9, 8, 9, all over 32. Okay? So this is the value of our a to the power of 11 plus b to the power of 11. Okay? Now, like I said, if you... Play some smart game and say because this one the power is one, this one power of two is two, so yeah, it will be eleven. We'll get it all wrong. So this might be the end of this only paired math challenge. And if you learn something from this video, give the video a thumbs up. Again, do not forget to visit Dr. PK channel to get his own approach. Okay, he's good at what he does. When you visit the channel, you see more of tough and rhetorical math only paired challenges, and he's there to answer all your questions if you have any questions okay subscribe to his channel remember this is all i must tv and my name is jakes animal i love you bye for now